Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mass Couch Gaming. It's me, Sam, again, and I'm still here with Jacob and Alex. You want to say hey? What's that? Yo. <laughs> and uh, as you can probably remember from last time, I was about to get my head cut off by a chainsaw wielding potato sack man. And you remember to heal this time? I did. I very, I very wisely healed. Smart need... man. <laughs> and now you need to reload. See, it's just this. Where's that I... chainsaw guy? You just I just can't to... stand it. I can't stand this guy running at you with something that is, I think it is insta kill, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. You, no matter how much health you've got. If oh, he gets uh, in front of you. I'll probably do stuff at the end of this series where I go back to certain points and show where stuff happens because I don't want to die and then come back and then do it all again. Yeah. I will show you what happens when some, when you get too close to the chainsaw guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we killed him, and because we made him spawn when we didn't need to, and we've managed to kill him, and he's a really difficult enemy, we get 10,000 pesetas. <laughs> which is the Spanish currency, in case you guys didn't know. We're rich. We got money. <laughs> no! <laughs> and he's got us. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I can't believe I actually uh, lowered my head then. <laughs> sitting here, I ducked. Right. It's like you said, 3D. Can imagine playing this with like the Oculus Rift? If that worked. Yeah, it would be crazy, oh. wouldn't it? Oh my god, that would be horrible, oh, wouldn't he? Especially if you just turn around and all you see is that chainsaw guy coming at you. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Good timing, <laughs> Sam, to reload. Okay, but... he is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, I mean, Sam is doing this really quite. No, no. Quite, <laughs> <laughs> he's, I was gonna say you're quite chill, but I think I've just oh, kind no. of jinxed you there. Yeah, get out of the situation. Going wrong now. Ooh, a spear. Shiny. The one thing that annoys me is that when I play games, I don't read anything. I don't learn the names. So to me, that speedo has always been a sapphire. Even though I don't even know if sapphires are actually that colour. You can find sapphires that colour. They are a multitude you of colours. might be wise to heal, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to go get another red herb from somewhere. Yeah. <coughs> oh, right. Right. Because they've all followed me up there, so I've got some time to run around. But yeah. I cannot remember where another red herb is. I know there is one. Don't know where it is. It's always wise in this game just to explore it, everywhere. Yeah, oh, there it is. And it's I believe like in this che uh, chest, in this box here, Here's the yeah. other one. Hey. So I, I can boost my health. It's time to level up, yo. <laughs> now I'm going to. I'm now. I'm going to quickly organise. Oh, thank you. Oh. Grenades top right. Yeah. Healing items bottom left. At uh, bottom right, sorry. There you go. And the ammo in front. Yep. Sideways next to the. Oh, you see, I don't know what it is, and I'm sure there are loads of people out there like me. Where just to see it, just not in order at all. Just, oh, it's, it's cringy, you just don't like the look of it. Because uh, usually I like doing stuff like that. Because mm. that's the most important thing in a zombie apocalypse. To make Organizing sure. Organising everything and making sure <laughs> everything's neat. It's a fucking attachy case. So it's, you're lugging around a suitcase with all this shit in. Yeah. <laughs> Someone coming at you with the chainsaw. Yeah. Wait! Wait. <laughs> what's the code? Clip those little bits up. Yeah. Whoops, that's uh, not what's, what's, what's the I number think again? I think i the spray this time. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, let's go. I don't what's think it would work. <laughs> what's the number again? <laughs> um, I, I'm trying to remember where the ladders are in this place so I can move one down. Because Thanks, Alex. There you go. <laughs> Even though you've never played this game before, your eyes are sharper than the knees. I know, right? That's why, that's why you guys need me here. Yep. <laughs> we'd be lost without you, buddy. I know. <laughs> Helping out with everything. Yeah. And I mean it is. Yeah. <laughs> All the ladder pointing out. Oh, the ladder's back up again. Wait, which means someone will probably climb up it. Hmm. Sounds like a little echo. I think there were two people on it. No, it is. Oh, it's my headphones. <laughs> oh, shot. I never like one kick to the head, like <clears throat> blows the whole thing off. Did it. Congrats, my buddy. Yeah. Not a single death. Close. It's a good thing I'm not playing this. <laughs> <laughs> Usually on easy and normal I can go through this without failing once. Saying that now... Do you want to put money on that? <laughs> I was going to say, saying that now, you are going to watch the most considerable amount of fails in one playthrough of a game. <laughs> How come, buddy? Well, because I jinxed myself. It's just <laughs> like when you said I was doing it well and calm and collected, I started to fuck up. Yeah. 
Right, so just so you know, Where's everyone going? I Bingo? was fighting them for ages and then the church bell rang. Yeah. And that made everybody that. stop in their tracks and go towards the Resident church. Evil. Sorry, but, by law you have to do that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just a thing. Yeah. <coughs> Doesn't she like as well get progressively hotter towards the end? Um, she takes her glasses off, I believe. Oh, is that it? That's yeah. right. And then Leon, oh, those glasses. Leon's like, oh, you don't have your glasses on. You look kind of <laughs> cute. Or something like that. Look at my gun. <laughs> I never knew it did that when you didn't have ammo in the clip. No. Ah, killed the chicken. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, if you, can, no, if you can rewind that then, just at that moment where it ran off, I thought those were two huge testicles <laughs> just running away. Oh, I saw that wrong. There you go. Bam. Chicken testicles. <laughs> you like that? Soak Not so in. much. I kind of regret asking for it now. Those are scary, man. Isn't that also quite a good place to go up there? Up there, yeah. Um, the right. only downside is you can only look so far down. I mean, it's a decent amount of down. I don't think you'll have enough time to kill the chainsaw guy in that time, but I know for a fact you can stay up there. If you're a new player, it would be a decent place to go. Yeah, just go up there and then, oh, hit later, didn't it? How lucky you are. See? Yeah. See? Cause it may just be me, and I don't care. That, to me, looks like testicles. Ooh. Another green you. herb. Never knew that was in there. No, the herb. Herb. Hmm. It's just an urban legend. Urban legend. <laughs> Did you like that friend? <sighs> no, actually. <quite> the <laughs> this thing right here. Daisy. <laughs> Invincible. No matter what weapon you use against it, no matter how long you fire at it. In my experience, I mean, there could be very patient guys who've managed to do it. You cannot kill the cows. How would you want to? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, burgers. <laughs> um, yeah, I just picked up a flash. In flash a game where there. you're meant to, like, be very wise with your ammo and conserve it and all this. <laughs> you have sat there <laughs> for X amount of time shooting a cow. Well, in uh, when you finish the game, you unlock two items called the Infinite Rocket Launcher and the Chicago Typewriter. Oh, the Chicago Typewriter. People who are aware of like the noir period and the gangsters in Chicago and shit will know fully well what a Chicago Typewriter is. It's a Tommy gun, near enough. But the Chicago Typewriter in this game has unlimited ammo. So, you can just keep firing and firing and firing and firing. Bosses go down as easy as anything. Yeah. And the infinite ro rocket launcher speaks for itself, really. It's a rocket launcher that never runs out of ammo. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite did, not, did not know that. Yeah. Um, I thought I needed to clear it up. Yeah. There is a boss later in the game, which hopefully when Sam gets to it, I'll like not retell really the story, but just point it out again. Yeah. I was shooting at that boss for days yeah it felt like an eternity i used all my ammo and th whatever i do did could not bring this boss down it is when yeah, it's, it's the big bug boss i believe it is in this game isn't it but anyway yeah so yeah, so it looks like a big mm -hmm. giant bug and i was shooting it with my machine gun with the revolvers with any weapon you get in this game so i thought you know what screw it there's a save point outside i'm gonna buy one of the rocket launchers and you only get one shot with the rocket launcher right and i thought i'll do that first take down as much health as i as much health, sorry, as, you as could. I can. Yeah. So I ran into the battle, heads held high. As soon as I shot this bazooka, killed it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> instantly, <clears throat> I was stuck at that point in the game for a week. <laughs> God, the amount of times I died was unreal. Yeah. And usually with games, if it gets to a point where I die so many times, I give up. Yeah. And that's really quite bad in a way, but I do just stop playing. Yeah. But still, I'm sure there's other people in there like that. In the world that does that as well. Yeah, oh, I can imagine quite a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, when things piss people off, they just stop doing those things. <laughs> Unless they're you. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I, At which point it becomes a challenge. I was going to say, I get too prideful <laughs> and I'm like, I will make you my bitch. Oh, was that in there? Yeah, it's on top of the thing. On this side, there was shotgun. Where everything was. Not everything, because I think there is more stuff here still, but I just could not for the life of me think where it is. Okay. You good to go, buddy? I believe I am ready to move on from this area. Okay. Sweet. Um, and oh, they went two episodes here. in, <laughs> and we oh. cleared the first area. Yeah, they went through this door, but it's locked now. Oh, okay. So we can't follow them through. There's a uh, another door up by a hut I was in. 
um, and that's also locked. So this door right here is the only one you can go through. I just remembered I'm not done. There's these two huts here, and one has valuable plot in it. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in the old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. We shall also leave these valuable documents on a table where the agent can <laughs> freely look at them. <laughs> the prisoner is not to stay here until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Who I believe is the village chieftain. I'll tell you what, Sam. It must be nice to be able to read quickly. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I could do that. Because the thing, I didn't learn to... I know Sam is this, but I don't know if I told you, Alex. I didn't learn to read until after I left high school. Really? I, mean, I really struggled reading for a long period of my life. In fact, pretty much all of my school life. Wow, I did not and, know that about you. And school didn't make it any easier for me because it's like they were always doing like English lessons and things like that they'd make you individually stand up and read out from a book I remember those lessons god, now, they, god they were horrible all right, people that can read they don't like to do them yeah. people like me it's humiliating it's demoralising yeah. it's just cruel yeah. especially especially for me in my classes because most of my classroom lessons like in English for example I had nearly most of every chav in the entire school and of course if one person mucks up they get absolutely mullered, like completely. Yeah. They just wreck into them for one mistake. Yeah. And it will stay with you, like throughout all of high school, pretty much. One mistake goes wrong, and you are forever known as this person, or for one, for one thing, and it's just so embarrassing. Yeah. Smash the kneecap. It's like I remember actually for one good action ex example. Uh, my friend uh, who was reading out loud as well. I won't say his name. He um hopefully he's watching. Yeah, hope, <laughs> he hopefully he is. If he is, he's a good mate. If he isn't, well then fuck, fuck you. him. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, he knows who he is. Um basically he was he was, re he was reading and um he was he was reading a science book and he was meant to read the word organism. Oh. And he ended up reading it as orgasm. <laughs> and of course forevermore it just everyone kept reminding him, you know, trying to read properly and it just and eventually just got on his tit so much. Yeah. And it was I'm not gonna lie, it did make me laugh quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I was his mate and I was trying to be there for him. It's funny. It was, yeah, <laughs> it did make me laugh. So at the time I was like, I'm so sorry, mate, but at the same time, you moron. <laughs> and, uh, last episode. Yeah. And on that note, I think it's see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, I mean, how long was the first episode? Was it About 14 minutes. 14? Yeah, 14. So. so yeah, not bad. Definitely. This one's gone on for 17, I think. Awesome. So yeah. Um, I will just shoot this last beam medallion, and then in the next episode, we'll find out exactly what they're for. Don't do it, Sam. Don't shoot the medallion. No. Ah! Bye. Would have been even better if you missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye. Peace.